Robert, answer me! Where the hell are you? Get to the hospital now. Mom had a terrible accident and they rushed her to the ER. Didn't you get the call? Ugh, leave me alone, Camila. So what if she had an accident? She just tripped on some stairs and bruised her legs. That's not a big deal. I have more important things to do with my job. You don't get it, do you? She smashed her head on the floor and she's unconscious. You should care more about your own mother than your stupid work. What? I should care? You have no idea how serious this is, Robert. The doctor said she had a severe brain injury and she might have to be in a coma for a long time. Really? Is it that bad? Well, then this is the perfect opportunity for me to go back home and get all the money I want from mom's bank account. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me. I asked mom to lend me some money the other day, but she was so angry. She said she had nothing left for me and kicked me out of her house. But I need money for emergencies, right? So I'll just go there after work and take her checkbook and make some transfers. And if mom ever wakes up from that coma, you can tell her what happened since she fell. <laughs> You're unbelievable. You're evil. How can you be so heartless? Mom is in critical condition and you're going to steal from her? Well, I have my own problems here. My company is in trouble again and I need to save it. If I use mom's money, I can get it back on track. That's why I have to borrow some money from her. How many times have you done this before? You took over $10,000 from mom last year and never paid her back. Running your own company is hard, but you wouldn't understand that, would you? You're just an old office lady. I have to take risks and win big to make more money. Are you kidding me? You're just a small-time business owner, but you act like you're the king of the world. What did you say? I know everything about you, Robert. I know how you use your position as a CEO to get whatever you want. How you go out drinking every night and charge it to your company. Maybe you think you can get away with it? But that's why your company is failing. And what do you know about the business world? I'm a genius at this. I'm one of the most influential men in this city. Well, then you don't need mom to pay for everything. You've already caused her enough pain and suffering. You're just a selfish jerk. You don't even care to see mom when she's in the hospital. After all she's done for you, the least you can do is show some gratitude and love. It's because of her taking good care of me that I'm not going to come there. The last time, when I expected her help, she just got upset with me instead. So me coming now would only make her blood pressure rise from the anger she holds for me now. And I might end up killing her by accident. So me not going to that hospital to see her is all. So that she doesn't have to be upset with me. So that means you're just allowed to waltz into her house then when nobody's home and take her checkbook? If you want to help her by not making her upset, then how could taking more of her money help? She might just end up passing out again at that point. And to make sure that doesn't happen, I'm making sure you're there to keep her under control. Now, I have a book to grab if she's okay when she wakes up. Tell her that once my company comes around this time, I'll make sure to pay her back. Maybe. <laughs> How can you be so cruel? You didn't even show up to say goodbye to your own mother at her funeral. I never imagined that my boyfriend's sister would be such a lowlife. Well, when we get married, don't expect me to ever be friendly with you. What? I know everything that happened between you and Robert. You're insane, you know that? You had no right to skip your mother's funeral, you jerk. Who are you and why are you texting me? Are you sure you have the right number? Don't play dumb with me. I know this is Robert's sister's number. And just so you know, I'm Jane, Robert's fiance. I was hoping to be your sister-in-law soon, but now I want nothing to do with you. What? My brother's fiance? Robert never told me anything about you or your plans to get married. He told me to stay away from you, to leave you alone in your misery. But I can't do that. I have to let you know how much I hate you. Wait a minute, can you calm down? 
I'm really confused right now. What do you mean I skipped my mom's funeral? Are you kidding me? Do you think you can pretend to be innocent now? Your mother just died recently. Don't you remember? What? Robert told me all about you. He said you've always been a selfish brat since you were little. You always had to be the best at everything, no matter what. And because of that, he had to work hard and struggle for everything he achieved. And it's also because of you that he couldn't go to the college he wanted because you took all the money. What are you talking about? And when it came to your parents, they always loved you more than him. When your dad died, you didn't lift a finger to help the family. When your mom fell into a coma, you didn't care at all and left everything to Robert. When your mom finally died from her injuries, you didn't even bother to attend her funeral. Can you please shut up for a second? What the hell are you saying? That's all nonsense. How dare you call it nonsense, you little bitch? After doing nothing for your family, you want to take all the money they left behind, don't you? I bet you've already stolen what was meant for Robert, haven't you? Why are you so greedy and evil? You don't deserve any of your parents' money. You've already taken enough from Robert. We'll make sure you don't get a cent of it. Give us back everything you took from them right now. You can say whatever you want about me, but I think you're completely delusional. And it seems that my brother has lied to you and made you believe his twisted stories. The only one that ended up getting everything they wanted was you. And now you're acting as though you don't know anything about Robert. You left all the care that needed to be done for your mother to Robert. And you never even showed up to her funeral. Yet now you think it's okay to have all her money? That must explain why, at your age, you're still single and alone. You are the worst. Huh? Your parents ended up spoiling you too much, and now you can't even find a man to put up with your needs. But I have to say, most men don't like being together with a spoiled brat. And since you're so spoiled, you wouldn't need a man anyway, would you? Who are you calling a spoiled brat? Jeez, just when I was getting away with being able to marry a business owner and everything, his mother had to pass away. The whole time we were supposed to be getting the wedding together, he had to care for her and such before she passed. And so the only thing that kept me going with him was knowing that one day his mother's money would come to us. But now I have to live with the fact that all the money I'd hoped for is being stolen by his little brat's sister. I am never going to forgive you for that. You really love to just spew crap from that mouth of yours, huh? Do you think you can listen to what I have to say? Shut up, you ugly witch. You're the worst thing to happen to the family. Hurry up and give me my money. I'm going to be the wife of a CEO, and so that means I should be getting all the money from his mother. So that money is mine and my man's. Huh? You're worthless as anyone's daughter if you can't even make it to your own mom's funeral. You have no right to our money, so you give all of it to us. My mom passed away seven years ago. What? You never bothered to listen to what I had to say. So I'll tell you again. My mom died seven years ago, yet you want me to give you all her money now? And do you think I don't have any right to her money? You've been going on about this nonsense for almost 30 minutes now, so could you stop that? You're the one that's been speaking nonsense. What the hell do you mean? She passed away seven years ago? Your mom only just passed away last week, right? I'm not sure what all my older brother has told you, but our mom passed away seven years ago. And the one that ended up caring for her before she passed was me. And the one that put the whole funeral together was also me. Actually, my pile of crap brother never even once talked to me after that. And he didn't do a thing to help with the setup. Huh? He said that I'm a selfish little sister, didn't he? And that's the reason he could never do anything about me. I'm sorry, but Everything he's told you and you've told me is the complete opposite of the truth. The only one that ended up being super selfish was my brother Robert, and the one who never got to study or go to college of their choice was me. And the reason for that is because my brother would always take loads of money from my parents without ever paying either one back. What? Well, even if I tell you all of this now, I'm sure that it's all really difficult for you to believe right now, right? I can already tell that you've been deceived by my brother for so long that all of this is lies to you. That's... that's right. I can't believe a dang thing you're saying right now. Well, then go back and ask my brother about all of this again. 
ask him how exactly my mom died, and also ask him what kind of funeral he gave for her. I'm sure that he won't be able to give you a good answer to either of those two questions. Hey, listen, Camilla, do you think you can read the atmosphere a little here? Why the hell were you telling her the truth about everything? Couldn't you have just let her have a moment of yelling at you and then moved on from there? I was just finally starting to relax again, and now you're here. What do you want? And also, can you please thank me for what I did? I made sure to take time out of my day to correct all the bullcrap you told Jane. What do you mean bullcrap? I had to explain what happened to me as well. Huh? What situation are you talking about? Well, I have finally gotten my company to steady out and I now have myself a girlfriend. But she keeps nagging me, asking me to get married as soon as possible. I had only just gotten engaged to her, but she kept asking me to meet my mother and all that. But I had a lot of things happen to me, so I wasn't able to make it back to mom's house easily, right? So I told her that my mother had fallen and a lot of things happened since then. And so after that, you told her that mom had passed away and all that other crap? I had no other choice, Camila. She told me that she couldn't meet my mom to at least let me go and see others in my family. And so I chose to tell her that mom passed away out of nowhere. And by telling her that you're a terrible sister and shouldn't be messed with, she would not bother asking to meet you. At least I thought she'd stay away from you. So you just couldn't stop yourself from telling lie after lie. And now your whole life story is a lie. So it's all because of you that she thinks I'm some kind of mentally screwed up sister? A person that I don't even know just randomly started texting me, calling me a witch and ugly and all that. Why do I have to be the one that has to deal with this crap now? Well, that's what I'm wondering myself. Perhaps if you were just a bit nicer of a little sister, I could have gotten away with all the lies I told Jane. Why though? Why would you tell her that mom passed away 7 years ago? Now you've gone ahead and made her doubt some of what I said. You shouldn't have been lying to her about all that sort of stuff in the first place. But at this point, I'm not even sure what you should have done since you seem so freaking toxic right now. You know that your mom passed away seven years ago, and she should have known as well, huh? Wait, so she seriously did pass away? Uh, wait, are you actually being serious about that? You remember how she fell down the stairs and slammed her head on the ground, right? Well, in the end, she never did come out of that coma and did pass away. What? But during that whole time, you just left me to watch over her while you took her checkbook and ran. I tried my best to contact you over and over again and to tell you that she had died, but you never once replied to me or answered my calls, leaving yourself in the dark about everything. So back when you were calling me like 10 to 11 times a day, it was because mom passed away? I just assumed that it was mom trying to yell at me after she woke up from her coma or something. I knew that she'd be pissed after hearing that I took her checkbook, and so I just wanted to run away and ignore her. And what you did back then will never be forgiven. You went and caused trouble for her all the way to her very last breath. And then, when we had her funeral, you never bothered showing up for that? Back then? I had never wanted to think about you as my brother, but my, good timing. I never knew all of that was just you ignoring me that whole time. Thinking that you could just stay away, hidden from mom or something. Luckily, now I'll finally be able to get all that money of hers that you used back from you. Wait, get that money back? What nonsense are you talking about? Mom had kept a record of all the money she lent you back in the day, but now that she's gone, I'll take her place and gladly accept all that money back for her. And after taking a good look at it all, you owe me $300,000. I want all of that back and all in one payment. What? Well, if your company is going steady now, then you shouldn't have a problem giving me that money right now. Good luck getting all that money prepared for me.
Oh, Camila, I am so sorry for what I said yesterday. I was really angry with you for a moment. You must hate me, right? I'm so, so sorry. For a moment? You accused me of everything and acted like I was a liar. You called me a witch, a bitch, and a selfish cow. You really had a foul mouth then. Yeah, I went too far. Well, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I don't want anything to do with you or him. If you're still happy with that scumbag, go ahead and marry him. But that's what I need to talk to you about. I think I've changed my mind about marrying him. I want to know the truth about his company. What? I asked him if he lied about anything else to impress me, but he said no. I don't trust him anymore. I searched his room and found some papers about his company. Do you know anything about that? I don't know what's going on with his company right now, but I know that when he started it, he almost went bankrupt several times. He would come home crying and begging for money. The last time he did that was when mom was in the hospital before she died. He didn't even see her. He just ran to the house and stole her checkbook. Mom gave him over $300,000 to keep his company alive. Over 300000 And he stole her checkbook while she was dying? And now, I'm going to get all that money back. I don't care how his company is doing now. I'm going to make sure he pays me back every cent. Does this mean that Robert is a horrible person? I think I made a huge mistake when I chose him. Well, just so you know, I'm going to sue you too, okay? You didn't even know who I was before you texted me. But you started by insulting me for no reason. That really hurt me. I'm going to get a lawyer and sue you. What? But it was your brother who tricked me. I'm sure you don't think it's a big deal. But to me, it's about my dignity. I've had a hard life because of Robert. And I've been dealing with his crap for years. I was finally happy. But then you came and ruined everything with your nasty text. I can't let you get away with that. Stop lying. Stop it. I told you it was your brother who used me. Well, then how about this? Instead of suing you, you tell me where he lives now. He ran away from me, and I haven't been able to find him for seven years. But if you, A, don't tell me his address and act like you're the victim, or B, tell him I'm looking for him and help him escape, I'll sue you for everything you own. Well, if that's the case, then I'll tell you. He's not worth it anyway. His company is probably failing. I'll tell you whatever you want to know about him. Just please, don't sue me. Please, Camila. Hi, Camila. I'm sorry to bother you, but I need a big favor from you. I need some money urgently. Huh? What? I know I told you that my company was doing well and making profits, but the truth is, it's not. I have some serious problems that I need to solve. How dare you ask me for money after everything you've done to me and mom? But that's why I'm asking you. I cut ties with you all because I felt like you didn't care about me or my dreams. But when I heard that mom died, I was shocked and devastated. I'm glad we're talking again and you're not mad at me for what I did. We don't have our parents anymore, so we only have each other, right? Let's help each other out and be happy, okay? Don't give me that crap, Robert. I will never help you. You owe me money. Not the other way around. Pay me back what you owe mom for all the time she's helped you. Hey, don't be so harsh with me. I'm telling you, once my company is stable and successful, I'll pay you back every cent. You've said that to mom a million times. And look where we are now. You owe me $300,000. And you haven't paid anything back. But I swear, this time I'll pay you back. If you don't want to help me now, fine. But do you really want me to cut ties with you again? If I do that, you'll never see your money. Because you won't find me anywhere. You only have my phone number, and that's not enough to track me down. <laughs> nice try, Robert. But I know everything about you. I know where you live, where your company is, everything. I know who you hang out with who you sell your products to, everything. What? And now that I have all this information, I'll bring my lawyer and make sure you pay me back what you owe me. Lawyer? Yeah, lawyer. I wasn't spoiled like you by mom and dad. They never let me get away with anything like you did, but 
I won't let you get away with anything either. I'll make sure you give me everything you have to make up for that $300,000 you owe me. Hey, wait. You can't get a lawyer to sue your own brother. That's crazy. Why not? You're a thief and a liar. You always took mom's money and never paid her back. You didn't even care that she was dying. And the worst part is, you stole her checkbook and used it for yourself. That's a crime, Robert, and I'm going to make you pay for it. No, please, Camila, I'm begging you. Please don't do this to me. I was able to get in touch with an excellent lawyer. And with the help of them, I was able to get all that money back from my brother. And due to this, the company he ran instantly went bankrupt. But just before anything could happen to it, it was sold by him. But he only made out with a small amount of pocket change after what happened. He is now left with over $1 million in debt to both the bank and the other loan agencies. So to start putting any sort of debt, or I guess in this case, scratch into that amount, he's picked up a part-time job. And as the fiance of Robert, Jane, she was just getting to the point where she was going to leave him and give the engagement ring back to him when she realized she was pregnant. Unfortunately, this left her with no other choice and she married my brother. But to all of those around her, they still had no clue of what had happened. So she keeps a face on for them to assure them all that she is still married to a CEO and will someday make it big. And when anyone she does know sees her working her part-time job at the local diner, she tells them it was her husband who owned the place. I guess those two really did turn out to be just like the other, lying their way into the illusion that they were living the dream.